Hi there, welcome back to the channel. It's great to have you here. So this time we're looking at how to do spiral 3D printing with integral structure. Um, so this is something I've been looking at for a while and I'm developing a wing in my other videos that's going to use this method. So I thought I'd share this. If you like this sort of stuff, please do subscribe to my channel. I'm planning on doing a lot more and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy it. If you do enjoy this video, please like it and uh, hit that notification bell if you want to find out about more things that I'm doing in the future. So here we are. Um, uh, so this is a test piece that I've um, pulled together to demonstrate how uh, my printing technique works for generating structure. Um, so the key thing is uh, on previous videos, you'll have seen a hex structure that I've generated. Um, and that the idea of that is to integrally create structure within a, in a, a 3D printed object. Uh, but I want to do it slightly differently. So the way I'm going to do it, want to do it, is um, spiral phase printing. The idea is spiral phase printing is very consistent, no extra moving around. So how can I create a model whereby all of the surfaces are an external surface that I want to create um, and allow that process to allow me to spiral print um, a, an object that's more complex than just a vase? So this is the sort of approach that I've pulled together. So what you have is you have a solid model and into that solid model you cut voids, slots, etc. These are slots, short slots. And when you do that, what happens is the uh, printer will go, will basically push around this edge and when it gets that slot it will go in and it will go around that edge and it will come out again. So I'll get a double thickness of material here, I'll get a single wall thickness of material in that and that will generate that tube. So I could use that for running cabling or whatever, um, or putting a spar in the wing. And then these will be facets in the external surface of the wing. So I'll get tiny little bits of structure that will stiffen this surface, penetrating into, into the void, which will be the solid matter in here, because I'm only printed on spiral base. So I'm going to go through and show you how I created this model really quickly and then uh, at the end I'll show you the printed 3D printed result um, and uh, yeah hopefully you enjoy it. So let's go back to the beginning. Uh, so first off I'm going to create my first sketch and that is this. So this is going to basically I'm going to uh, extrude this to create my first um, piece of solid model. So it's going to be this solid model and there's a tiny slit in there in that solid model. So if you look at the surface, you can't quite see it, but there's a gap in there and that's effectively not a surface. Uh, so now when I extrude that, I end up with my first body. So if I 3D print that in a... Um, base mode I'll get this outer circle, I'll get that little tube and a piece of connecting structure. So now I want to start looking at generating the spiral. So the way I decided to do that was I was going to create several layers of where I would have um, points that I would then draw 3D spline around. So on my first plane I've generated basically a, uh, a small surface here. Um, so if we look in there, you can see the surface there. And then I carry on doing that as I move up and I twist it round. So do that at several heights. You eventually have uh, the trace of a spiral. So slot, 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 slot. Um, and uh, so that gives me uh, one piece of the spiral. And then uh, I then wanted to, on the end of that, oh, and then basically I've done a 3D sketch and connected all these points with a 3D spline. So now I've got a surface that um, is sort of through there. Then I've generated a loft using those splines as a guide. So if we turn on the bodies, you can see, get rid of that one, you 
you can see now that that body there's a very thin body that spirals up and if we move that around you can see how that is a spiral okay but it's only part of the story because I want loads of spirals so let's put that back I want loads of spirals and uh, so how do I generate that well first off I want them to be counter rotating so I'm going to mirror this spiral uh, let's turn on that body oh, bodies are off turn off that body again so now I've got two bodies and they're counter rotating and then all I'm now going to do is I'm going to do a I'm going to do a circular pattern and pattern those around so they all join up. Now you can see I've got this helical um, counter rotating pattern that allows me to um, create these, the pattern that I want on the surface of my solid, my circular solid. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that com uh, basically a combine and I do a combine cut. So I do I take that center solid, the first solid, and I cut it with these um, helical um, surfaces, small bodies, very thin bodies, and that will end up with me having a component that looks like this. So uh, yeah, um, and then uh, I unfortunately I didn't record the printing of this because I didn't think I was going to make a video of it at the time. This is stuff I did about six months ago. Uh, but I'll now uh, show you the finished piece. So just let me switch over to the other camera. So this is the um, 3D printed uh, test piece. As you can see, the integral structures come out quite nicely. Um, the tube has come out. That's fairly well fixed in. It's not going anywhere. Um, the print quality is really good because it's spiral printing. There's very little hairs anywhere, um, you know, I'm really chuffed with that. And the sort of, whilst you get this sort of inset thing, there's, there's very little in the way of, so that's a split in the actual bond that way. But these, these are very strong. So, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. So hopefully you uh, like that short video. Um, I think it's an interesting concept and it's something I'm pursuing further. So long term I want to try and get wings and fuselages printed out with this sort of style. So if you want to follow that in the future, please do subscribe to my channel. Um, please do like the videos. It helps other people find the channel and uh, make sure you hit that notification bell. Um, if you want to look at anything else, then have a look at my website maybe, or perhaps have a look at the videos that are popping up. So, thanks for watching. Cheers!